It was a night that started out uh, with some momentum as the Conservatives grew their support, their seat count in Atlantic Canada. They did exactly the same thing in Quebec, growing from 10 seats uh, to 12, which was a good sign for them. The problem is that once uh, the polls closed in Ontario, the major challenge was to grow their support in the 905. That's something that did not happen. But Conservative uh, leader Aaron O'Toole has basically said that the showing that this party made was enough to deny Justin Trudeau a majority. Five weeks ago, Mr. Trudeau asked for a majority. He said the minority parliament was, quote, unworkable. But tonight, Canadians did not give Justin Trudeau the majority mandate that he wanted. O'Toole, who was in his very first campaign as Conservative leader, was only chosen uh, to lead the party in August of 2020. So he really didn't have a, a lot of time to prepare to get set up for this election, which was a snap election. And that was another point that he slammed the uh, Liberals on, uh, specifically Justin Trudeau, for choosing to trigger an election in the middle of a pandemic. With another minority at the cost of $600 million and deeper divisions in our great country. O'Toole also chose this moment in front of Party Faithful to say that the party is basically growing its support and appealing to more and more Canadians. This is something he says will be important because the prospects for another snap election, he say, are there and the party will stay ready. Canada's Conservatives to victory. Thank you.